Hey everybody, Wyoming James checking in. Day number four. Day number four of Operation Wyoming Mule Deer Hunt with my good friends from Pennsylvania. So, Connie's all tugged smooth out. Jake is just over riding around in the, in the truck behind me. And we've got that white truck there behind us. Because it turns out they couldn't find any deer. So they enlisted the forces of these three successful deer hunters in this truck to help them out. So we're driving into a little spot here where I hope we can find one. Now we uh, we brought them in right off the bat here and showed them two bucks. Well, we showed them one, but they found the other one. So I'm going to give them partial credit. But anyway, so we found two bucks that were they were decent bucks. Um, they could get shot if it was a little later in the day and they were a little closer to the road, but. Uh, but right now we're just going to uh, try to find one a little better than what we saw already. So just wanted to let everybody know that we're still at it. Um, we'll probably hunt till early afternoon today and then we'll head back into town and uh, get some proper dinner. But uh, we'll see you guys shortly. Stand by. All right, so we're driving down the road, minding our own business. And... We spot these, actually we saw these yesterday. We saw these carcasses uh, laying here. And so we drive past them and Jake says, are you supposed to leave the tag on them? And I said, no, Jake, those are just the, the rib cages. And, and he's like, well, there's a tag on top of them. And I'm like, no way. So we back up and let's chalk this up to funny stuff that non-resident hunters do. Um, not all of them are bad. I got a few good ones. So what they did is they they quartered out this, this carcass. These are two deer carcasses. So they quartered them out, right? Shoulders, um, hind quarters, back straps, which it doesn't look like maybe they got maybe they got the uh the tenderloins, but then they put their then they put their tag on the on this rib cage and left her here. So, old Donald T. Crabbery is, so what I'm wondering is, now these guys have a cooler or a couple of coolers full of meat, right? That they're transporting home, right? There's, there's another one. And this guy is, who's this guy? I mean, they went through the trouble of putting... Tuori, Matthew Tuori. And so these guys went through the trouble of cutting out their tag and filling them out and then leaving them here. So what happens when they're headed home and they get stopped by Johnny Law and they've got two coolers full of meat and no tag for the meat? And they say, oh, we left them on the carcasses. So that's just one of those funny things. So anyway, I just, little little funny side note, stuff that stuff that you come across. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna keep heading on up in here, and uh, hopefully go find some deer that don't already have tags on them. Have him look through that other scope. Look through here, Bob. Thank you. 
right, so uh, so check this out. Last afternoon of the uh, of the hunt, and it's always uh, I've I've always admired the fact that it's a real strange uh, vibe that comes here. Everybody uh, everybody's enjoyed themselves. You know they've enjoyed themselves because nobody really wants to go home. But so there's a lot of busy work going on around here. Everybody's getting packed up. But uh, it's it's kind of a it's always been kind of a strange strange thing for me. So let's uh, let's just go around and uh, see how that goes. What do you say, Bob? How much? Go in here with the, the boys. And they're all packed up, Jake. Get in there. Hunter, you all packed? Pretty much. Ready to go? Ready for a shower. That's what I'm doing. You ready for a shower? <laughs> yeah. All right. Me too. I can smell myself. How about you, Jake? What? You ready for a shower? Yeah. All right. So It'll did be that. Nice. How's that? It'll be nice. I'm looking forward to a dinner that I don't have to cook. We're looking forward to that. So did that. Uh, that the insulation thing help you think? I don't know. It might have. Didn't tell. Didn't really get cold enough, did it? No, it was hot in here. Yeah, it was plenty warm in here. So, so all that stuff's got to go in the truck. I'll come in here and roll my bedroll here shortly. Maverick's gonna fire some shots in anger. Tim, I, how did I know I'd come in here and you'd be stuffing food in your face? Can't wait to tell Mandy. Uh, so we having lunch together? Just the three of us? Two of us good. <laughs> Just the two of us. <laughs> so how was it overall? Good. Yeah? A lot of deer this year. A lot of deer. A lot of buck deer this year. So uh, I don't know. I kind of wish we'd have done better with Bob, but not like he didn't have opportunities. Would you agree with that? Couple three. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe three. Maybe three. So we'll just wait till next year to get him a big one. Draw that limited quota tag, maybe. <clears throat> well. Use his points. Uh, I remember that. So he's got to get more points back up there, but. We'll get him one before he leaves us. So anyway, so I was just I was just mentioning that it's always kind of a strange vibe at camp. Last day, last afternoon. <laughs> yes. And uh, you know everybody's everybody's had a good time, but they they don't want to leave, but they're they're ready to be done because it's been a long long four days. So and I've got an absolute mess to clean up here. So not looking forward to that. Um, so I'll be doing dishes and stuff for days. Yay me. But I figure I'll start packing this stuff up and get get headed out of here. Okay, so uh, we're done. We are headed back to town. Um, I got the, uh, the cobalt blue powder room in tow once again a big thanks to our friend uh, Sean at Sean's John's for uh, hooking us up um, awfully grateful that was that was uh, well well needed well deserved so um, okay so real quick I just got to tell you what our situation is hopefully you can see this down here but basically what's going on there is our fuel lights on it's been on for the better part of the day and I'm hoping, hoping we make it all the way back. We just, uh, we just crossed the mighty Powder River, and uh, Powder River Letterbuck, by the way. But anyway, we just crossed the pipe, mighty Powder River, and we're headed south. So we've got a ways to go, and we got a little bit of fuel. So I really think we're gonna make it. But like my old friend Gerald Gay says, if you ain't, if you ain't living on the edge, you ain't living. So we're living right on the ragged edge. So. But uh, just wanted to check in with everybody and let you know what's going on here. So, um, 
again, I can't uh, can't tell you how much I've enjoyed having these guys out. Um, we've uh, we've shared some stories and shared some laughs, and it's just it's so much fun to you know get a guy like uh, like Donnie who uh, who's had some other Western experiences to come out here and share them with us. And, you know those guys that that have been out in years past. It's it's so much fun listening to them compare notes and and uh, swap swap lies as it were. So, but. Uh, it's just it's been good having you Don. It really you. is. I've uh, it's been fun. I've enjoyed every minute of it. So but uh, Donnie it was kinda kinda neat. Donnie uh, got a call from, from his wife and, and one of his kiddos yesterday after he after he killed his buck and I got to kinda eavesdrop on that conversation. That's that's always fun. So but uh, and uh, so that's it. Uh, Diane, I, I hope you keep watching because there's there's more videos to come. They just they won't involve that grumpy white haired guy. I got a little bit out of him. You guys you guys just saw that we I got a little little bit of uh, camera time with Tim and uh, I'll tell you what, he's he's a great guy. He really is. He's he's one of my very favorite people in the whole wide world. Um, Tim Wood is a no BS kind of guy. He just he tells it like it is, doesn't pull any punches and and uh, you know whereas uh, whereas me I'm you know I'll kid glove it and get him all around but not Tim. So I think that's one of the things I like about him is he's so different from me you know but uh but we've always had a ball every time he and i have hunted together we've just we've had a good time so um enjoy all these guys so uh anyway diane i hope you keep watching uh some western experiences and and uh maybe keep showing them to uh to your dad and, and donnie's dad so uh you can kind of see what this is all about out here in the in the wild west but uh everybody else uh, lefty miller i'm still struggling with that uh that hunter hunter bit the hunter Foreman deer i'm gonna i'll try to get a little video of it when we get back when we got back in camp there they had it packed up before i had a chance to take video of it um so so there's that um deb coffin uh, appreciate you watching um you know it's it's just not the same out here without you we need a horseback ride and some of those uh martin's potato rolls out here those would be great but um and everybody else, just thanks again. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for commenting. And uh, we enjoy having you guys as well. So Wyoming James checking out day number four, the final final day. We're headed back into town. Adios. Peace.